Hey guys, Mosquito here. And as you can see, I have a Lian Li PC-05S, or their wall PC as it might be more commonly known as, but we have this here for a review at themodzoo.com. So I just kind of have a system in there with hard lines and some orange LEDs as you can see. So yeah, this system was quite a bit of fun to build. There's some issues with the case that I had and I found. Uh, some of them being mounting different components in the power supply and they really should have had a, some sort of an extension for the power supply instead of having a little cable cutout that requires you removing two panels in order to get at, which is kind of annoying, but uh, I mean it works, I guess. Once you get it set up the first time, and as long as you don't really need to change anything, then I guess it's not really that big of a deal, but yeah. It's pretty fun to build, and I really enjoyed it, so head on over to themodzoo.com and check out the full article review. Hey everybody, Bill again. Whoa, look, blast from the MMPC Tech Case Mod Product Archives, the 120 millimeter blowhole fan grill kit. Where did I get the idea? Um, from sports car fuel filler assemblies, also on sport bikes, it's kind of like the uh, fuel cap assembly on the motorcycle tank. And what you can do is mount it in the top of your case as a, an exhaust fan like this, or you can flip the fan around as an intake and mount it on the front of your case or in the side for GPU cooling. Hey, whatever you want to imagine, you can do something cool. It's different. It's, you know, it's an industrial look. It's pretty heavy duty. They are CNC machined from quarter inch thick 6061. And we've got them in a black anodized finish or just the bare aluminum finish. And they include screws for mounting your 120 millimeter fan and a uh, round powder coat perforated steel grill. I also know that people bought them for other uses too, but they never did show me the pictures of what they did with them. So anyways, we've got them back in the store again. Go to mmpctech.com and if you buy one and do, do something with it, share the photos. Uh, tweet at us or on Facebook uh, so we can see what you've done with them. Hello everyone, this is Jesse aka Captain Curry Sauce from themodzu.com and here I have the Fantex Enthu Mini XL. Interesting name, very interesting case. I know the first time I saw this case, my first reaction was, why do we have so much open space here? Why do we have to have the power supply up? But then as I started to put this build together, which this is still in progress, I still need to do some leak testing, replace this one with a black fitting so that it matches everything else. But one of the most interesting things I noticed, and I remember one of the major complaints from the original N2 Pro Primo was you could not use the included uh, reservoir mount because it would come into the way with GPUs, any long GPUs. So once in the review you will see pictures where I have the GPU down and the bracket comes in and you can easily mount a reservoir and not worry about hitting a GPU or a thick radiator. This is an XSPC RX360 version 3 and this is your standard 60 millimeter thick and I have fans up here actually down here not up there and you can mount something like this easily without running into any space issue one of the things I liked is the little clips for the bay devices now these are screwed in so depending on what kind of radiator you're using you don't have to worry about any clearance issues you can take it out and there's actually still enough space that on the front I can install a fan controller so I can still use the bays in the front depending on how the radiator is placed. But the bottom two are open and if you're using a thicker like a monster radiator, you can take this one off too and don't have to worry about any clearance issue. The whole bay itself comes out depending on what you're running in your build. A couple of the things that jumped out to me, I know one of the biggest complaints people had in the old Enthu was the way the release was designed and the clips would break and the whole thing would fall. Well, not anymore. They changed that to make sure you don't have to deal with that issue again. It's still the same style clips, 
but instead of having something fall down, this is much more sturdier. So, and if you and like us, and as always, this will be a complete review, which would be up soon. And check out the modsu.com for the whole full review and the build details. Hey gang, Greg is going to show us an ITX system that you can put together. All this hardware is currently on the market at either Newegg.com or Amazon.com. Tiger Direct fries, do you think, Greg? Possibly. Okay. Sure. And we're looking at about $200 investment for this system. Well, basically what we have is an MSI ITX board that has HDMI out. It has other features too, as well as USB 3 and DDR3, and uh, it does have one PCIX 16 slot. Um, say to 6 gig. Yeah, it's a AM1 board. And we have a Sempron 3850, which for uh, HTPC and streaming video is, is plenty sufficient. It comes with a cooler. They run around $40. You have basically, two sticks of RAM. You go 2 gigs per stick. You can go more, but you don't really need to cost on uh, DDR3 these days is about 10 bucks a gig so $40 on that. You have a optical drive which is kind of an optional thing. Uh, optical drive, a DVD drive would run you about uh, $17. If you want to go to a Blu-ray it's about $70. Uh, the case itself is a thermal take. This is uh, one of their mini ITX ones that actually comes with a 220 watt uh, SFX power supply. They generally retail about $60. You put that all together and you can actually run it from a thumb drive, a small flash drive. I use a micro flash drive, 4 gig is all you really need for XBMC. You can run XBMC which is now called Pody and watch all the streaming video you want total price put together is around two hundred dollars makes a great system that sounds awesome if you have any suggestions for maybe a different ITX case that's out there that you've had experience with that's maybe something that everybody else would be interested in um, with the ITX power supply already in it or um, maybe a different CPU cooler if you don't want to go the OEM route post it in the comments and if you've built a system like this or you do something like this, share it on the modu.com so we can check it out. I've got the NZXT H440 here in the shop. It has the smoked acrylic replacement window made by MMPC Tech installed. Although it doesn't really look smoked here. And people have asked, what is the illumination like if you've got lights inside your NZXT H440. And I've installed a 12 inch dark side white LED strip in the ceiling of the case. And the lighting looks pretty good. However, if you cut the power of the light, then it looks smoked again. So if you're going to have some type of illuminated system with the smoked window, yeah, you should be able to see the lights just fine. And then you can go into stealth smoked mode like this. So we just listed these windows along with a clear version because people with the H440 designed by Razer wanted to be able to swap out their smoked window to a clear version and vice versa people with the H440 wanted to go with a smoked version so you can go to mmpctech.com now and order them if you're overseas just go to the top of the page look for the international link and uh, we'll hook you up with an order wherever you are and also we do sell the dark side 12 inch LED light strips too so thanks for watching and have a great day. All right, another creative way to exercise your beagle. Hey, I told you not to chew on the stick. You can't bring it with.